Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Mika. I live in Finland. And uh, in this video, I am going to make a bunny head. It will be a little bit evil. The first thing I do is wedge my clay. And after that, I start pinching. I want to make a ball out of the clay and uh, it should be hollow. Just by pinching on the outside, I can actually get the hole smaller and smaller. And uh, in this case, I actually take a piece of clay and just glue it together to shut the entrance. Every time that you attach clay, you need to slip and score. This way it will actually stick and won't break in the kiln. Just by using my fingers and a wooden tool that I also made myself, I try to make it really nice and uh, actually find the right shape to get the bunny head. I make a ridge from the nose up to the top of the head and uh, this way I know where to place my eyes when I start making the eyes for the rabbit. As you can see this shape is also perfect for badgers, insects, uh, all kinds of rodents and stuff. What I do now is cut out the eyes and they look a little bit big right now but just follow me. I roll them out and flatten them a little bit and then of course I slip and score again and try out where I should put them. When I attach the eyes I try to make them symmetrical so it looks good. After that I use a special tool that I made perfect for making eyes. A little bit of water to smoothen out the edges and then I start using the tool. The tool is pointy with a flat, a little bit rounded piece and then it's in a triangular shape. By using the tool I make the eyeballs and you can see one end is a little bit more pointed than the other so it's really good to use both ends. This way I get perfect eyeballs and eyelids. And then, of course, I make the other eye the same way. To get it symmetrical, it's best to look straight from the nose part of this bunny. So then you know that both eyes look the same. A little bit of water on my fingers, this way I get the eyelids perfect and then to get it really smooth and actually attach I use a tool also. So far so good, it's now time for the ears. The clay I use today is a stoneware clay and it's perfect for building and sculpting. I am going to burn my rabbit twice. First in a bisque fire and then I'm going also to glaze it. 
and then burn it in stoneware temperature. I cut two pieces for the ears and then I start by pinching almost like a bowl uh, or a boat and I try to make both ears look the same. They should be a little bit pointy and have a little bit more clay in the other end. This is good when you attach it to the head. Just by choosing other ears you make totally different animals. But this one is going to be a rabbit. When both ears are done I uh, try them out on the head and then I use my thread to cut away extra material so they look really great and sit in right places. I use a piece of sponge as support but you can also of course just use a piece of clay or something to support your ears so they don't fall. Both ears are done and it's now time to put them on the head. piece of sponge underneath. In this stage it's also really good to put a piece of plastic underneath everything so that the uh, rabbit doesn't dry too fast. I slip and score and then I attach the ears. First one done, and it's time for the second one. So, for the second one, I also use a new sponge and then I attach it just like the first one. After that, it's just time to finish up my rabbit. I make a nose and I also draw some lines on it to get some structure. This rabbit is a little bit too wet right now, so I will leave it for a few hours to get the real finishing touches. There is one more really important thing to be done. I need to make a hole through my rabbit, otherwise it will just blow up in the kiln. So I use a brush and just push a hole through my ears all the way into the head. This way the air can circulate. So now my rabbit is done. And well, what will it look like? This is the final rabbit. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you again.